What's going on guys? Talk Aston Villa here bringing you the match review for the Aston Villa versus Manchester City game. Villa Park, 3 p.m. kickoff, 3-2 to the Villa. I'm a very happy boy indeed. Um, I can't say it's a much deserved win. Obviously, that five minute span where he scored two quick goals, finally getting the winner. We deserve that in a sense, and uh, Man City were very, were very wasteful in that sense. Anyways, to break down the game very quickly, uh, first half was very boring, very dull. It was expected. Um, it was expected Man City to come out flying like they did last week against Manchester United and the Manchester Derby. A uh, 4-1 win there, so I thought it wouldn't be anything different. I predicted for, I think, a 2-1 or 3-1 loss um, on the front three, so I kind of thought that was going to happen. I thought we were going to go in a half, really, actually, after a while, going in a draw, but the sneaky, talismanic Yaya Torre gets the goal right through Guzan's legs. You know what? He could have done better, but I give him some slack after amazing performance last week against Norwich. You can't, you can't save everything, guys. Um, the second half, really, I don't know. We came out more attacking, which I thought, okay, good. Our counterattack looked more effective, looked more deadly in that sense. Obviously, Kozak playing up front uh, with Vyman. Um, a really, really good partnership there, I thought really work together. Uh, Kozak's kind of height, a little bit of speed, and Vyman's just pure pace uh, worked in that perspective. Um, El Akhmi's goal to tie it up at 1-1 was a little questionable, a little bit offside, but whatever, we'll take it. Uh, crosses it right uh, past Joe Hart, um, just right across opposite side of the net. One all. I thought, okay, let's grind it out. Let's grind out for the draw. And then I think there was a stat of, at one point, 10 corners for Manchester City to Villa's 2. And then Jekyll scores off another corner. It's something that's really something I think Lambert's going to go over in um, training all week is corners because we conceded two goals off corners and it was horrific. And then Jekyll getting obviously the second, like I said. And then really I thought this was the unthinkable. Obviously I think Nast Asic really cost Man City the game. Uh, but I'll get to that in a bit. Obviously fouls uh, Vyman right outside the box, 25 yards out. It's between Vlar and Bakuna take it. Uh, it looked like Vlar's about to run up, the whistle goes, Vlar's about to run up, stops, and then Bakuna just drills an absolute bomber right into the left corner, I think, facing my direction, to the right of Joe Hart, of course. Um, Joe Hart didn't even move, didn't even expect it, just an absolute bomber right into the top corner. Two all, and I thought, okay, this is another chance to grind out and draw, and then Guzan just bombs the ball up. To Kozak. Kozak plays a nice little ball to Vyman, and Vyman really nasty assage was not marking his man. Hart comes out, Vyman puts it around Hart. 3 2 final. Nasty Asage's headlines costs Man City the game. The reason I say this, guys, and it's obvious fouls Vyman. Uh, Bakuna scores from the free kick. Wasn't marking Vyman on the breakaway goal for the, th uh, for the winner. Uh, the first one wasn't his fault, but th those other two were. Uh, just really, he, I'm not saying he's not Premier League quality guys, but I don't think he's quality enough uh, as of now because he's still, what, 19, 20 years old for uh, being a title contender defender uh, for the Premier League title. I think, honestly, Lescott might have done a little bit better, and that's saying something right now for Lescott's uh, recent performances. So when he's got, anyways, guys, this is the Aston Villa versus Manchester City uh, review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys, I think, Thursday or the front three, 7.30 p.m., and I'll put a video out for that. Anyways, guys, like I said, like, comment, and let me know what you think of this match. A very unexpected by the Villa. See you guys Thursday, and boom.